people think when you give your life to Christ, all right, now you talked about the Lord, you still cussing. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> I've been cussing for 25 years and I've known Jesus for 10 months. Yeah. All yeah. I have to do is keep my eyes on him. Right. And he will convict me and start to slowly purify my heart. I'm not worried. My relationship with God is not horizontal. I'm not worried yeah. about y'all. Yeah. I got my eyes on him. And the more I walk with him, things just start to shed off. I don't even want to have sex no more. Mm. I don't even have the appetite for liquor no more. Mm. But if if you don't go to him first mm -hmm. and you start saying, okay, I got baptized yesterday. I can't do the drugs no more. I can't have the sex no more. I can't. <laughs> You're going to go back to it anyway because your heart wasn't changed. That's good. Yeah, so okay. let me go to him first. And as he convicts me and changes my heart, mm -hmm. it'll just naturally happen. Mm -hmm. I didn't get baptized and go to God and say, after my encounter, which was nuts, and say, I can't do this no more. No, yeah. no, no, no. I didn't freak out. Yeah. I said, okay, I'm going to just walk with him. Yeah. I'm going to just walk with him. Okay, it sister no Simone. It ain't no rush. It ain't no rush. I got so many other things I'm working on. It's no rush. And guess what? I'm celibate now because I'm not dating. I don't know what's going to happen in my life. I'm a try. But I don't know. I feel, okay. Let me, can I, can I speak I'm not that? being tempted right now. Can I so it's easy. I'm an open book. I done, I've had threesomes. I've done crazy stuff. I done took drugs. I had an abortion. I'm an open book. Okay. I've done it. <laughs> okay. Threesome. Yeah. But it wasn't a lifestyle, but I did it. Okay. Just like I had an abortion. I didn't have 12, but I had one. Right. Mm. Right? So, um, and I say this not to be, not, I'm not being funny. I'm not, I'm saying it because there is somebody mm -hmm. on the other side of this. Mm -hmm. And it's going to make me emotional. It's okay. There's somebody on the other side of this that is doing those things, mm. that is going through that. It's okay, baby. Mm. It's okay. That's what people that are trying to come to God need to hear. Because mm. that's what I needed to hear. When people were judging me and pulling me, it's okay. People like Sarah Jakes, you, Tabitha Brown, it's mm. okay. Mm. I see you. Mm. Take your time. Mm -hmm. I see your heart. Mm -hmm. You're trying. People don't need to be condemned all the time. Yeah. Everything ain't got to be so heavy all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? Why? Mm. It's okay, baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's okay. That's good. It's okay. You keep your eyes on him. That's good. You don't focus on your, the people. You focus on God. It's okay. Yeah. Drugs, it's okay. Alcohol, it's okay. Mm. Sex, it's okay. Now, what you need to do, work on, you try to change, mm -hmm. but keep your eyes on him. Mm. Keep your eyes on him. Don't keep your eyes on people. Mm. It's okay. He loves you and it's okay. Yeah. So, there's women that follow me that need to hear that. They don't mm. need to hear, I've never done this. I've never done that. I've done, no, mm. I've done it. Mm. I've been there. I can relate to you, girl. Yeah. That's not listening. She ain't got no gospel playlist. Mm. She don't know who mm. Lecrae is. Mm. She don't know Genesis. She don't know yep. John 3, 16. She don't know Revelation. <laughs> she don't know. I they don't know straight to his face. Genesis they one don't one. know you, Lecrae. Nah. Give me a minute, really? Cray Cray. <laughs> I'm with you. I got you. So people need to hear it's okay. Yeah. And not just stay there. I'm not saying it's okay to stay there. Right. That's not what I'm saying. Right. But I'm saying your past does not define who God called you to be and who you are. And if you're in a season where you're feeling convicted, your only responsibility is to move. Mm. Any when I when it's moving time, I'm so used to packing up and moving now. I don't I ever even really feel like I fought it. Mm. All right. So what did you think? What did you think? Ooh, it was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. Now, the question I have is, though, you know, and I've watched this clip a couple of times, too. Uh, it, the first thing that jumps out to me is the okays. Yeah, I, I, I made sure I left enough in there because she eventually tries to clean that up because it could yeah. sound like she's saying it's okay if you're doing drugs. It's okay yeah. if you're having... Um, I don't think that's what she meant. No, I no. think she meant it's okay that you struggle it's with okay those things. It's okay that you did that. Still, and, yeah. mm -hmm. You're still, you don't hate those things just yet, but you're you're trying to walk away from them. Right, yeah. I think that's that was ultimately her point. Mm -hmm. I don't know her, um, so this is not for her, I guess. This is for anybody who's in her situation. The only thing I would say is it isn't just a vertical relationship. I know what she's trying to say. It's it's um, don't let people distract you from your relationship with God. Right. It is also horizontal, right? God puts people in your life to help disciple you, to help you mm -hmm. walk through it. You're supposed yeah. to have godly counsel. Mm -hmm. So it's not just vertical. It's not just what you think God wants you to do. There's people he puts in your life to help make sure you're not 
lying to yourself. Your heart is deceitful. It'll make you think God is telling you one thing when it's really another. Even mm. when you read the Bible, it may make you think your interpretation of it should be this when it really should be that. So yeah. the people yeah. around you are important as well. So yeah. I would tell her, as I watched the whole thing, is make sure you actually read, go like deep, uh, deep into the Bible and mm-hmm. read it for yourself. Mm-hmm. Because I, I think a lot of Christians are relying on what does it feel like to me? Should I, I feel like I should do this? I feel like God is telling yeah. me that, but find out what it, he actually said already first, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, so that, that would be my only encouragement to her, but I, I think she's genuinely seeking. Um, I would just, I would just encourage her to make sure she's being discipled that, mm. that somebody should be able to say, no, 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 no. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 yeah. and, and I get her point, but you may not have that much time. You see yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's like, you got time, you got time. I don't know. I mean, like, there's a little bit of urgency on this. Like, it's not completely just take your time. Like, yeah. get to relationship it. is important. What I hear when I when I hear her speak, I hear relationship over everything. I hear right where you are. Come to God as you are, and walk as you are, and make sure you're connected with Him. Uh, I think that's the most important. I think most not. I think we're a lot of times we're introduced to God through religion. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like we're introduced to him through some yeah. form of religion, and I love the fact that Christians now are able to just say, "Man, outside of religion, man, all right, God, here I am. I'm a mess. I need your help." Um, and I'm, I'm not basing it on what other people say, what other people think. That lateral, um, I'm, I, I need you. Yeah. And so I think that's the most important part that I took. And obviously, you can take it out of context when you hear it's okay to sex. It's okay yeah. if you just played that clip. Yeah. Oh, somebody yeah, yeah, yeah. in trouble. It'll be real affair. Yeah. Oh my god. I, like, nah, I, <laughs> yeah. I think yeah. too, though. I think like yeah. like Sean was saying, like Boy, the vertical sweet. as well. The lateral is important. <laughs> I think when you hear that though, if you're going to disciple somebody, or going to minister to somebody in that circumstance, the way you approach them is key. Mm-hmm. I think a lot of times we come very dogmatic mm-hmm. or very judgmental. Like mm-hmm. obviously if they're new to this, they don't know how to do it. Yeah. So come to them with grace. Come to them with love. Don't don't excuse sin, yeah. but understand they're not going to have it right on day one. Yeah. That's it. it may yeah. take them a little time. So yeah. I think when I got what she was saying, it's like, okay, Craig, give me a little time. You know, yeah. I think like Sean was saying, you can't, you never know what will happen tomorrow, but at the same time, if I'm coming to you and I'm talking to you, I got to have realistic expectations. Like, yeah, like yeah. she said, if I've been smoking weed and having sex for 25 years, right. you coming to me next week and think I'm still not going to have them urges, it's mm-hmm. unrealistic. Shoot, That's I've been true. walking with the Lord for Ten years. Months. And if I walk in, if I smell the right smell in the air, I'm looking like, man, that mug, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> oh, for, yeah, yeah, yeah. And for a minute, I got to snap back into right, it. Like, right. nah, you know what I'm saying? So That's I think yeah. it's just realistic, you know what I'm saying? So I think if you're going to approach somebody and disciple somebody, do it in a spirit of love and have realistic the expectations don't try to just ball down on them expect them to turn everything around day one y- yeah. y'all know who she talking to right she talking to us <laughs> <laughs> or she talking about people like, like us yeah, for yeah. Sure. Uh, you yeah. think we talk to her like this I mean we have videos when we kind of went at B Simone what's, what's interesting is we probably do and she should probably watch them cause um <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't her that a lot of it we were talking it was the guests oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah well, oh, and, and, and um, I think yeah, I think London, part yeah. of for her, I, I think she she may not understand. A lot of the heat she's getting towards her is because it's not just you and you taking time. You're actually talking to other people. Yeah, so you're, yeah. you have yeah. a platform. You have a platform. So people are listening to what you, and they're like, no, 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 yeah. no, no, don't tell them that. You know, yeah. so that's that's where it's like it's not just yeah. you. You are talking to other and, people. And and I think that's the that's the problem with this situation. It's not the problem that she's saying that give her time. It's not the problem of because we all. Sanctification is a life process, is a process. process. Yeah. Mm-hmm. and I think I think the problem is, like he just said, she has a platform, and when she get people on her platform, it doesn't sound like she doesn't sound like that. She sounds like it is what it is. Mm. You yeah. know, what I mean, you ain't perfect, nobody perfect. So let's just, you know, what I mean, and yeah. I think that's the scary part about the whole situation. And, you know, I'm def I've definitely been praying for B Simone, but I think mm-hmm. at the same time, it's just like. On your platform is a little bit different. It, it does sound like, you know, um, we trying to figure it out, which is we all are trying to. But at the same time, it, it does sound like, you know, we, we ain't perfect. That, when she hit that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sound like she had somebody face in mind, like she was yeah. talking to someone. Yeah, Can people kind of do that when you're around somebody who you have a little bit more respect for, like a Lecrae or a pastor or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes you put yeah. on your little. Let me try to clean it up a little Correct. bit more than I would. 
around somebody who you're more comfortable with, you, you're going to let your hair down a little bit more. Mm-hmm. And you're going to say some things that you probably wouldn't say in a certain setting. I, so I feel like she was trying to be transparent as possible, mm-hmm. but it's a certain level of respect she probably got from Lecrae and who he is to where she was trying to clean it up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I think people I remember. <laughs> I remember when I first got saved, man, I CDs. I'm telling my age a little bit. Man, yeah. I took all of my CDs instantly mm-hmm. and pop, I did the same pop, thing. Because it's, it's that zeal. Like, when you first get saved, there's a zeal to kind of like live for Christ. Like you want to do everything right. Um, you want to stop the sinning. You want to stop. You, you want to do so yeah. much at first. I think for me, what I'm looking for out of that clip is like a solution or something practical that people could go to to say, okay, this is what looking to Christ looks like. This mm-hmm. is what keeping your eyes on Christ looks like. Like he was saying, discipleship is so important, and we have to look in the text and say, okay, if God say, says that this is wrong, the way that I keep my eyes on him is by saying, okay, God, if you say that this is wrong, then change the desires of my heart to what now what I used to love I hate. Yeah. So I don't feel like like we're overcomers in Christ. And mm-hmm. so if we keep saying that this is what we are for years, then yeah, we have to yeah, check, yeah. are we really looking at Christ? And is the Christ that we're serving or we say that we love are we looking at the right Jesus? Mm-hmm. Um, because there are things in my life where I know I'm like, I've been saved way too long to still be dealing with the same thing. I've been struggling way too long. And I'm like, okay, Lord, am I not trusting you with something? Am I lacking something? Am I, am mm-hmm. I lacking accountability? It's like, yes, God, meet me where I am. But also at the same time, rid me of the things and help me to see what I'm doing wrong and change my heart. Like yeah. that's really yeah. where that discipleship mm-hmm. yeah. comes in because if we don't know how to look at Jesus, then we stay stuck for five years and we say, just give me some time. Oh, man. Just give me this. Yeah. No just give fruit. me that. And it's like, yes, uh. I, there's all the grace in the world, but at the same time, like people should be able to see the Jesus in you and say, Hey, I saw that fall off of you. Yeah. You didn't do, it doesn't take long for people to see that glow. Yeah. I've seen people give their life to Jesus and it's just, you see that there's something different about them. Even after two, three, four months, they're not perfect. I'm not perfect. But there is a there is a zeal that changes you. You're no longer that person anymore. And so, um, yeah, I think I'm I think I wow. um I know where she is and I understand what she's saying, but I think we just need practical steps as it pertains to how to not love the things of the world anymore. Yeah, I, I think another thing too is um and I just go back to discipleship. I think the thing about when we we got to be careful when we just talk about relation we got to be careful when we talk about relationship because I feel like sometimes now in the culture relationship with God could be me isolated and that's not what God wants no. you know what I'm saying that's so good, you yeah. so you so we got to figure that out of and I and I saw um I saw um I think Dr Mason talk about this and we talking about pure religion what's pure religion the scripture talks about pure religion being mm-hmm. like feeding the widows, being there for people, being 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 the Axe Church and, and being like like having pure religion more than what American religion is because pure religion is discipleship. Pure mm-hmm. religion is walking people through the process of mm-hmm. sanctification. Pure religion mm-hmm. is um, seeing your community and trying to be the answer for the, the right. ills of your community. Yeah. That's pure yeah. religion. Yeah. And I think every time I hear people say relationship, with Christ or I have a relationship with God I always it feels very I mean it's me and God Mm -hmm. and it's like that's just you're going to that's an easy target for the Mm -hmm. enemy when you're isolated by yourself there's that sanctification moment where we all have to go under and that's that requires time one on one time with him but we also not supposed to neglect the the fellowship you know and it's also a body you gotta keep in mind it's a body and body stays connected so we have to stay connected Mm -hmm. but even Jesus man he went and went off and had his time yeah yeah, yeah. So and, and i'm not talking about i'm not talking about like yeah i'm, I'm not talking about like like your one-on-one quiet time yeah, you and yeah. god and god right. speaking to you and you going back and forth you reading the word i'm not talking about that i'm talking about when you when i've heard people say i'm in a relationship with god i don't need the church i'm like in a the culture of yeah. just yeah. pulling yeah. secluding yourself yeah. from yeah. yeah on purpose not yeah. like god is like excluding you because he's trying to um form your character not that yeah. you yourself is like I don't need the church. I can do this by myself. And yeah. that's a lie from the enemy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I'll say this. One of the things that really um, makes me fear when we have these conversations with people with bigger platforms is, you know, are they being told the truth? I have a friend who will call me and say, hey, bro, I'm doing this. I had got this going on. Tell me the truth about what you think about it. And I give it to him straight. Right. And it hurts. 
It hurts. Mm-hmm. It hurts me to tell him, and it hurts him to receive it. Mm-hmm. And and we go back and forth with it. Yeah. But at some point, you have to be willing to hear that and know that okay, this is a area of correction for me. Like yeah. I I can't continue yeah. doing this if. Like, I feel like a lot of these celebrities, if they were told the truth, they wouldn't say half the things they say. And I'm not talking about her, but I'm talking about, you know, the stuff that Kanye went through, the stuff that um, we hear Cardi B talking about, mm-hmm. stuff we hear uh, Glorilla and Sexy Red talking. Like, it's it's a lot that you're hearing, um, but it's also, yes, men and women in their camp mm, that yeah. keep them going in that direction. Yeah, I think I think what we have to realize, and, and the point I think she's ultimately trying to make is right. There's there's things that I've done that are horrible. There's things that yeah. people on our team have done that are horrible. There's yeah. things that you have done that are horrible. Yeah. That is not the issue. There's no shame about what God brought you from. But right. when you when you agree to this thing, when you say God, <laughs> I surrender. Yeah. 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 What you're saying is make me into what you want to make me now. Yeah. Not eventually, like like yeah. as soon as possible. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I, there is a little bit of urgency I was missing from her voice was the, yes, you know, if somebody is actively sinning, um, yes, there there may be some time it takes to get them to 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 mm-hmm. shed that yeah. and keep going. Yeah. But it should be an active pursuit. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. yeah. you don't yeah. just you yeah. know yeah. lay in it. You you, <laughs> you, should, you should be like, <laughs> okay, I made a mistake today. Tomorrow, I'm not gonna make that mistake. It should yeah. grieve you. The intentions yeah. of the heart, like it should grieve you when you sin against God. If you really mm-hmm. truly believe mm-hmm. He delivered you from sin and death. Nothing in you should want to remain in that. You should want to run toward Jesus with everything that you have. Yeah, so, like you and said, it should like, not be okay. Yeah, yeah. it shouldn't be okay. Yeah. 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 So, and, so and I understand what, what she was saying. It's okay. It's okay. We. It's I'm okay. glad she that cleared it up at the yeah, end. Yeah, but yeah. Like, like you said, that clip right there, yeah. that could have just. Ooh. But what you said about time is key. I had a friend who was wilding out in the clubs. We, I was 30. She was 28, and she was like, "I got, I got this. I got that." And I was like, "You need to get this right, right away." And she was like, "No, I got time." Ten days later, she died. Wow. wow. Didn't have a time. Oh. Oh. See what I'm saying? So it's really important that you you look at it like, okay, if I'm going to be serious, I got to get serious and, and know that Choose I'm coming. This day. Yeah. 